this slide, I just we worked for weeks and months to try and get updated figures through Freedom of Information Act in, in Michigan. We just got it this morning. I was in the airport going through all these statistics. Um, what I can tell you um, is 2012, this is a little bit outdated. Um, 2013, in each of the zones where we are planning, where the state is planning a hunt, there have been no depredations in 2013 in any of the zones where they are planning to have this hunt. And DNR is saying we need a hunt to manage conflicts, but there haven't been the conflicts. We killed the wolves that caused the conflicts in 2012. 2012 was the first year we had authority to kill wolves by livestock producers or by dog owners. So we had some depredation here. And the other point I want to make, since 2010, over 50% of these depredations were all on one farm. And we got the data now from 1996, and which I personally believe DNR has not wanted to disclose all this information because it would take away the thunder and their reason for wanting this wolf hunt. Majority, overwhelming majority of the depredations are on this farm. From 1996, this farmer has had problems. And we could spend a whole day talking about the issues on this farm. But this farm, we through freedom of information, we also have learned the man has very poor animal husbandry practices. We just learned he was given three donkeys. I'll mention the donkeys. But uh, two of the three donkeys died while in his care <coughs> due to lack of care. And the third donkey was removed in very poor condition. So he was given non-lethal tools, didn't utilize them, and now they're using that as a documentation for the reason why we need the hunt. And fencing. And fencing. He was given fencing. $1,300 worth of fencing that disappeared. Nobody knows what happened to it. Uh, farmers, producers are reimbursed for any loss. And we don't need to go through all this, especially in absence of time. But you can see we had, this is by the Michigan Department of Agriculture. We provide the farmer, reimburse the farmer for any verified loss. There's no re reimbursement for dog losses. But we reimburse the farmer for any verified loss based on the value at the time of loss. So today is July. They lose a calf today. They get the value of that calf now as of July. The second column was by volunteer money, voluntary donations. There was a $10,000 fund set up to also reimburse farmers uh, the difference between the value on the ground and the uh, fall market value. This fund has now been exhausted. So now uh, another sore point on some farmers are saying, we're not getting what it's worth. Well, that's because the volunteer donations here, that fund has dried up. So now they just get the value of what was the loss at the time of the loss. There's a federal grant project, and this is the project that provided funding to 18 farms, allowing the placement of donkeys. Donkeys do not get along with canids and seven fencing projects. This project worked. Um, this uh, federal funding has now been renewed. DNR has applied for the funding now for this year. This is a federal grant, and everybody knows what the state of the federal economy is, but this grant program has now been reimbursed. So we have funding for farmers who lose livestock. We have guidelines for lethal control of wolves. And so we have the tools necessary. And the third tool we have is the lethal management. In 2012, we had eight wolves that were taken um, for human safety concerns over by Ironwood. Uh, even though no person was ever threatened by a wolf, we had wolves coming into town. Wolves were following the deer into town. People were feeding deer. But even if they banned feeding of deer, we'd still have a problem. There's great habitat for deer. There's lots of old apple orchards around. Uh, we had landowner permits, and the difference between the landowner permits and uh, the other permits. There's two different kinds of permits that people can have. I'm a farmer, I lose a calf, the DNR will give me a permit to kill any wolf on site. And then you also have no permit needed if, say, you have a wolf in your field and you feel that wolf is threatening your livestock, you can also kill that wolf on your property without a permit. So we have non-permits, uh, or you don't need a permit, and then you have permits that can be issued. So
So all total, we killed 23 wolves in 2012 uh, because of that control. And uh, we had, uh, well, 59 due to livestock. 2013, I don't have complete information. But I can tell you, since we're in the area of the Atlantic mine, we had three dog depredations earlier that made front page of the newspaper. Uh, four wolves were killed, and there have not been any other issues near these areas where these dogs were killed. So we had three dogs killed, and four wolves were killed as a result. And the whole reason that we're here is we all need each other. <coughs> and one of my favorite quotes for that, the strength of the pack is the wolf, and the strength of the wolf is the pack. And we are all PAC members and working together and we need to get PA 21 repealed. <laughs>